Hello everybody. Today I would like to show you how I change how I create a battery pack for my Aerobird Extreme. Now this uh, battery pack is no longer sold by hobby shop or anywhere. Yeah, if you see any, it's probably old and uh, probably not worth buying. So what we have here is the old pack and it has these two leads I transfer over to the new uh, battery pack. I use the sub C cells. These are Tenergy cells made by uh, uh, or sold by Amazon. These are rather cheap. If I buy one of these at the battery shop, uh, the one of those green battery shops where they build it for you, it's like 29 or 30 bucks to make one of these for you. But you can get this whole thing like um, in this 15 pack, 15 pack um, box for about 35, 37 bucks on Amazon, and they come with. Uh, all these uh, pre-made, uh, pre-tab cells. These are the pre-tab cells, cells. Okay. And what I did was I arranged them in the order that the old packs have. Okay. Just make it so that it looks like well, what the old tab looks or the old battery pack looks like. Uh, like so, and, uh, and uh, weld it together using the electrical or, or hobby, uh, the hobby solder. I tried the non, we got non mercury or non lead uh, based solder. It didn't work too well. Uh, I switched to the solder, the regular one, it seems to be okay. I see, you can see this one here has a pretty bad solder. That's because I didn't scratch it enough with the wool, uh, the uh, the wool, what do you call it, wire wools. Uh, so it didn't go too well, but I finally got it to attach. The electrical tape kind of make it easier, you just wrap it around to make sure that it doesn't move while you're soldering. Okay, so I started arranging like this and, uh, and basically bend up the the two tab, the two um, what do you call these ta tabs here. As you can see I bend it and uh, these two would go into the top of these. I just use the plier and pry, you know, pry off these two. Okay, and these two at the t uh, front here, I just weld them together. These two, weld these two together. I hope you can see it. These two would be welded together. All right. These two at the bottom, and the top I just. And this top one I just pry off with a plier. And then these two, I pry off this one. At the, uh, the last one I pry it off with a plier. And use this one. Well, this one here, I just kind of bend it at an angle, if you can see here. I bend it back at an angle so that it faces the other battery. And I weld it to the other battery. So that's how I try to minimize the work using the existing tabs that comes with the battery. And then I just uh, take out the these two wires and well, well uh, solder it to the new battery pack. And then I use the arm meter to test the puppies. Positive, positive, and it shows it's uh, it's pretty good for um, usually is 7.2, but this one, as you can see, is 7.48. And I tried it on the Arrowbird, and it and the uh, 
propeller uh, was uh, pretty strong. So there you go. That's how I use this existing tabs and uh, pry off the ones that I don't need. Minimize the work of soldering. These these um, uh, welded joints are pretty darn uh, good. So don't try to get rid of them if you don't need to. So there. Uh, and then I use the uh, what do you call these um, electrical tapes to try to insulate the one of the uh, the areas that got um, uh, melted by the solder and gun, just to make sure that they don't, the um, the the batteries aren't shorted. But I, when I put it in the airplane, I would use a tape to just wrap around all these things to make it a solid pack. I tried to search for the info on the internet and I couldn't find anything related to these tabs. A lot of people have questions on how to use these tabs, so so I made this video. Hopefully you enjoy it and uh, be able to do the same. Uh, these cells are all you, all can also be used in the DeWalt battery 18 volt packs if you have those. It's pretty darn cheap to replace those batteries.